So I'm done with work and I decided to come home, chillax a little, and um, Google myself, I guess. Well, not necessarily Google because I just YouTube myself. But I wanted to find my recent video so I can look at the comments. I was signed into my other YouTube name. I just was too lazy to log into this one. Anyway, so, well, I typed in Lana Loves Mac and I ended up watching everybody else's video that has me tagged. I've never done that before, and I think that was probably the inspiration that I needed to make another video. <gasps> ah! But yeah, um, it was it was really nice. You know, I started watching. Um, there were a lot of videos, and I was like, oh, to each one, I'd watch one. I go, oh, that's nice. And another one, I'm like, oh, thanks. And then I realized, shit, I have to say thanks to all these people. So. Um, yeah, that sucks. I'm just kidding. Uh, I do appreciate, you know, the nice things that everyone has said to me and some of the not nice things. But, um, so I wanted to do a video to say thank you, you guys, for, you know, talking about me. That's shit, that's really nice. I think I said nice like seven times in this video. I'm tired, okay? Um, I got a lot of messages too. You guys are asking me, you know, how Vegas is or what I do in Vegas. Um, I could be that person and I could say, well, if you went to my other YouTube page, you'd know. But I don't really care how many people actually watch my videos. So, I'm a Gwen Stefani impersonator in Vegas. So, as you can now understand. But, back to... So, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. But, back to what I'm doing in this video. Um, instead of doing a makeup application, I'm going to do a makeup removal. Ooh! Ooh, I turned it around on you. So, this has been used, but I swear to you, I've never used this before. And I probably must have used it on my clients when I was doing makeup. Don't remember actually using it on them either. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't bleach your hair. It's really bad for the brain. Um, I'm going to be using Max Eye Lip Gentle Remover. Gent Gently Off Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. For the first time that I remember. And um, you're going to see my, my natural reaction and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to be taking off the red lipstick because, boo, I am not going to be wearing this in my own household. I'm kind of done. So I know for sure it's kind of got this oily um, mixture in it. It's what helps break down a lot of the makeup. So you got to shake it up. I know it sounds weird. It's separated for a reason, right? I'm using just simple cotton pads, these little things. You can get them at Walmart. Um, you could, if you really, really wanted to, get them at MAC, but why pay $10 or whatever price they are for what you can get for $8? At least I think they carry these. I'm not sure. Normally, when I take off red lipstick, I just use a MAC wipe. It tastes kind of weird. Not like you're supposed to lick your lips, but it tastes kind of weird. But it gets it off because if you've ever taken off red lipstick in your life, you'd know how very difficult that is. So, so I'm going to take a little bit. Just like you would do your nail polish, right? And I'm going to take this off. And let's see how this goes. I just came right off! Amazing! <laughs> I should sell this stuff. Wow. This is truly the shit. I should have used this more often. Okay, cool. Well, I strongly... S did you see what I just did? I just blotted my lips and put my lipstick on. Wow. You're a nerd, Lana. Holy shit. So, this is taking me like two minutes to do. Cool. I The reason why I blotted my lips because I wanted to uh, lick them for a quick second to see what it tastes like. I know it's really weird, but, you know, I'm sure you guys want to know. It tastes like makeup remover. So don't do it. It's not cool. Alright, so, that's gone. Look at that. And there's no red, well there is a little bit, this is because of the stain, I've been wearing red lipstick all day, but there is practically no red residue on my lips, as you can see, so that's really cool. So say you're trying to like, go out, you know, with your friends, I'm not done yet, yeah? So do use this stuff, I don't know how much it is now, don't even ask. <laughs> go to a Mac store or the, or the website. Um, now... You have this on, it's pretty much a 
plain base. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to put a little bit of powder back on. I use Studio Fix. I just stick it right back on my lips. Just in case you do have that red residue. Um, why do I keep saying residue? Stain. Wow. In case you do have a red stain, just uh, put a little bit of powder on it. It kind of neutralizes everything. Makes it calmer. Eventually, your lips will fade away. That redness is just because you've been working on them and your lips get all like... I was going to say bloody, but <laughs> that sounds really gross. But it's true, the blood rushes to the... Anyway, um, and I'm just going to put on a neutral lip color. If you do have red on your lips that's just stained, if you use a neutral color, it's going to turn pink. So I will just... What did I use? I used um, Spring Bean. It's a green um, luster glass. And it just kind of... It calms it down a little bit. It's really cool. Um, I'm using Nordstrom's Soft Edge Lip Gloss. I really like this color. It smells like butt. It's probably really old. It actually is really old. But I don't have that reaction to makeup like some people can, so I use it anyway. But if you have Soft Edge, it's one of the perfect ones you can use right after uh, red lipstick. Um, but Spring Bean, it's really, really good to use. Um, if you do a lot of browns, it's also it's also good like a maybe like a soft brown liner just to at least calm it down um, maybe something like strip down it's like a light brown if you're darker skinned I would use um, see you're gonna dang it I forgot with the hover there you go it's it'll look more like a natural color I'm hoping anyway so try that out this was this didn't take long at all it's awesome what's taking long is me rambling so I'm done and uh, I'm red lipstick free. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again, you guys, for the lovely comments and videos and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I think you guys just inspired me to do a lot more videos. So, yay. Um, I'm going to do a Gwen Stefani look when I have time to do it in the morning. I was going to do it today, but I was rushing. I was late for work. So, um, one day I will do it. And you guys will get a Gwen Stefani look, her normal look even though she has many. Um, and then I'm going to do one that was a um, request. I know, I'm doing a request now. I know, check me out. But this video that I'm doing as a request is going to take me a while because I need to figure out how I'm going to do it because the makeup that I do is probably about an hour long. So i got to figure out how I'm going to do it for a video. But anyway, thanks again, and I will see you guys later. Well, I don't really see you. Can you tell I'm lonely? <laughs> okay, bye.